Hello and welcome once again to the game that makes the PlayStation 2's motion engine depressed. Hey no he how that was exactly the same as how I moved the cursor last time, as if I reused that bit. Almost as if I split an update into two because both of the levels took too long. Maybe? Ignore that, that's not true. I'd never shortchange you with that sort of nasty antics. Anyway, all out. We are approaching the end game. The aliens are throwing as much as they can at us. They really want to kill us. We don't want that to happen. Let's get going. Three saucers. This saucer. This is the one that spawns spiders. Kill this saucer. I've made a critical error here. I've equipped the SNR 227D variant. It's a high power, slow firing variation of the sniper rifle we know and love. I wanted to pick the R. Look how slow this is. This is really, really slow. Let's get out of here! Die, you evil spiders! Oh, balls. Okay, let's do this for real this time. Let's see how much faster I can kill things with the SNR 227R. Arthur, really much better! This is really much better. After only Three reloads, it's down. I think the uh, the other one took about four or five reloads. Took less bullets, but more reloads. And the reloads took about the same time, if not slower. Very slow way of doing damage. Remember, people, damage per second is king here. Anyway, this is a really long and tough level. Got the uh, usual complement of. Spiders and ants from carriers, saucers out of your bottom, and walkers approaching from the middle distance. We are back in this ruined city environment. I'll say this ruined city environment did appear in Monster Attack and also in EDF 2017. Probably the easiest level to see the edge of the map on as it's pretty much flat. You see with Pale Wing. This level's basically a massive square, as are all the levels. If you also look off to the side, I see the edge of the level where it just kind of disappears into a sort of... Yeah, over there, see? There's no horizon. Just a sort of empty white area. They sort of made the horizon really bloomy to try and fool you, but I'm no fool. I can see through your lazy tricks, you developers of cheap games you. Yes, playing this game, graphics is my main concern. Very disappointed with the graphics in this game. Must try harder. To send Sandlot a memo about that. Okay, one more saucer, dropping ants, not spiders, crucially. Let's end it short and carrying life. The walkers are fast approaching. Dealing with all these saucers and ants attacking us is a primary concern at the moment. After the carrier, of course. Oh, one's got close. It's starting to shoot at us. Not that one, though. That one's too far away. That one! Look at that. Look at that. Ah, it's coming for me. Ah. So we've got loads of spiders and things bothering us. Gosh. Gonna be a lot of me falling over in this episode. 
So I brought along the SG-5B again. I made fun of its supposed aerial superiority before. And honestly, after using it a bit, the vertical spread is quite handy. It's like playing FPS's before they have the whole mouse look thing. Where you had to just look in the direction and you fire at it. You know, regardless of their vertical position. Hit enemies like high up in a building just by looking in their general direction. It's sort of like that. You'll see me kill all the saucers while not actually aiming at them. Which is nice! You'll also see me kill more than one saucer at once, which is also nice. I don't do that all the time with the regular shotguns, but... I don't know what sort of point, I, point I'm trying to make here. Bizarrely, three walkers actually start off too far away from you to be activated by your presence and just kind of sit there in the distance, ignoring all this happening. A couple of saucers as well, just out of range. Not sure what the point of them is. Usually the last things you deal with when you play this. Or my test run through. In case of killing all the enemies over here, taking down the carriers, collecting all the power-ups, and then heading over and killing the last three things. The uh, sources that don't notice you are actually really handy as they kind of stay high up in the air and don't attack you. So you don't have to bother kiting an ant around in order to get all the power-ups. I need some tubs, so I'm going to get some tubs. Lovely tubs. The rapid sniper rifle does not take out these walkers very quickly. Or it takes them out much quickly than the D variant would have done. Had I actually bothered trying that to knock on board after I flipped the tank. By the way, there's absolutely no way to get the tank back up unless you want to try explosives. In which case, you're more likely to kill the tank. We don't want to kill the tank. We want all our tanks to live. If you watch my monster attack videos, I showed off a repair spray you can use to repair tanks and the like and co op partners. I remarked at the time, I believe, that it didn't appear in 2017, which I'm fairly sure it didn't. I also said I wasn't sure if it appeared in this game or not. I have just recently found the version 1 repair spray in this game, so yes, it does exist in this game. We've got three left, and a couple of saucers. See, if we shoot them, we kind of aggro them. Those two are aggroed. And now they're coming to get us. The last one is still standing stock still, unaware of our presence, uninterested. Let's get his attention. Sorry, sexist assuming this walking death bot is a uh, he, it equally be a female walking death bot. Or maybe a transsexual walking death bot. Anyway, it's taking absolutely all the time in the world. It's taking too much time. Let's go over there. Sort them out at close range. The high risk strategy of walking up to them and blasting them with shotguns. Uh, depressing development seems to be that the later shotguns in this game seem to tend towards the low range end. My favourite thing about the SG-4 was that you could blow things up from a distance. It was only slightly less effective in the range department compared to, say, an assault rifle. As the SG-5 has a much reduced range and the Governor Zero is entirely close range. Being able to shoot these things from a bit further away would be nicer. It's not to be, however. Maybe the SG-6 will solve my range worries. One more to go. 
Let's go get him, soldier! He's smoking a bit. Smoking more... And exploding! Hurrah! One more saucer, and we are done! You will want to join me for next episode! We finally take the fight to the mothership! <laughs>